Hello, you're welcome to another basic technology class. Today's topic is drawing practice. And under drawing practice, we'll be looking at both practice. But before we go into the main lesson, let's quickly look at the learning objective. At the end of this class, we should be able to define both practice. So we should be able to demonstrate how to set paper, set drawing paper on the board. Three, sharpen pencil to chronicle point and knife edge. Four, draw border lines. Five, place and draw title board block with dimension. And six, hands, and free writing of letters and numerals. My name is Akin Adibambo. You are welcome to today's lesson. What is board practice? Board practice is the appropriate use of drawing board to practically do technical drawing. This is done with lettering guidelines and lettering style. Professional that needs technical drawing are engineers, technicians, draftsmen, welders, and furniture makers, designer, and so on and so forth. But how can we practice board? How can we carry out board practice? The following step must be strictly followed to achieve a very good and neat result. One, we must set our A3 drawing paper on the board. Two, draw the borderline. Three, draw our title block. And four, use lettering to label our title box before we start any any drawing now we'll be looking at all these steps one after the other the first one is setting of drawing paper on the board to set your a3 drawing paper on the board you do the following one put your a3 drawing paper on the board Two, put the T-square on the paper with the stock lapping at the board on the left side. Just like you can see from the diagram. Then three, adjust the paper to align to the blade of the T-square so as to give you a perfect setting on the board. And after that, make sure the paper is squared on the board using a small masking tape or clip to hold the paper on the board. Having done that, the pencil we are going to use must be sharpened to a conical point or a knife edge for neat and perfect drawing. And when we look at the various pencils being used by different professionals will be talking about the conica edge type, the knife edge type, the chisel edge type, and the Belleville edge shape pencil. A well shaped pencil is very essential in technical drawing. It improves the quality of lines and art and enhance good draw good draftsmanship it makes the drawing line thin and neat this material for sharpening pencil a razor blade and sharpener the pencil are used for lettering free and sketching should be sharpened to a chronicle point and you can see it at the lower at the third drawing on by the left showing the different standard of pencil the first one is the standard tip which is the regular one you can use your sharpener to do while the second one is the chiseled tip which is sharpened in a way to give you a chisel flat edge and is being used by engineer engineers why the other one is needle tip and this is what is used for lettering and for free 
sketching to give a clean and a neat drawing and the last one you see is round headed tip and this is used used for drawing clean lines having gotten this one we'll move on to the next one drawing of border lines and we are going to be talking about drawing the vertical and the horizontal line talking about our border lines the border line is a line that runs through the four corners of a paper at 10 to 15 mm from the edge of the a3 papers a paper the line is also called boundary line because it creates a boundary for the drawing and from the picture from the diagram we can see the boundary line being drawn and to draw the boundary line one use a pair of compass to mark to measure your 10 to 15 radius on scale rule then place it with the pin on the on the compass place it at the edge of the paper and mark it on the paper on the a4 sheet from there after doing that use your t square to connect the points on the verticals on the horizontal lines while you use your cell square talking about 30 60 cell square to draw your vertical lines with a very neat line you connect all this and you create your boundary lines from there we'll move on to drawing the title block title block is what shows the information about the drawing is a space at the bottom right corner of the paper to draw and to draw a title block we follow these steps below one with the aid of a pair of compass measure a rectangular box of 40 mm by 100 mm or 120 mm starting at the lower right corner of your borderline two with the aid of a compass at 10 mm radius cut the 40 mm side into four equal parts then number three with the aid of the t-square rule rule the four lines the four mark from one end of to the other to the other of the title block to complete the drawing and from the drawing you can see how it is being done so it's easier for us to understand and after having done draw our title blocks this gives us all the information we need to commence our drawing because a drawing without a title block is as no drawing at all so having completed our title block and on the right top corner you will see the information that are meant to be provided in the title block the first one is the name the name of the person that is doing the that is carrying out the, the drawing which is your name the school because is a school assignment you write the name of your school the title of the drawing depending on which drawing you are carrying out it could be free and sketching it could be construction of a component which you will name then number three the scale that is the information you are going to give must be to the scale meaning that this drawing if with the scale it will allow the draftman the per, the engineer that is going to construct the component to understand what you are talking about and it will be able to replicate it in a real life situation and number five the dates the date is important that is the date the drawing is being carried out and on the lower part 
you will see another uh, picture diagram there showing lettering. This is how you will write, you will fill the title block. You use your lettering skill to write you. This is the how you are going to write your name because the line has to be it must align it must show professionalism and that is what technical drawing is all about so with this understanding we have come to the end of today's lesson but before we go let's quickly look at what you have learned today one we have been able to define what is board practice two we have demonstrated how our f3 paper is set on a drawing board likewise we now know how we can sharpen our pencil to chronicle point and knife edge for various drawing types. And number four, we, can, we now know how to draw our border lines with measurements. And five, we now know how to place and draw our title blocks, title block with dimension. And six, we can now use our lettering and freehand writing for our letters and numerals. And I will come to the end of the today's lesson. Let's quickly look at this question to show our understanding of what we have learned. Question number one. What do you understand by board practice? Number two. List four type of pencil edge using drawing. Question three. What do you use chronicle edge pencil? Why do we use chronicle edge pencil in drawing? And number four, list the steps for setting drawing paper on the board. And number five, which is the final question, list the basic information in title blocks. And if you have answered this question, you can send your answers to us at Gmo gmo at edufest.ng thank you and see you in the next class